YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about Doja Cat and this story is crazy. Let's just start off with a, got all this cracking for me. Once again, just like Swell Entertainment, I'm just nosy. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I get into all this stuff. So let's start here. Exposing Doja Cat's disgusting, racist, incel, 36-year-old boyfriend, Jay Cyrus, Jeffrey Cyrus, who loves to get rimmed and is an abuser, manipulator, predator, and a cheater. Here's the thread. All right, so let's get this going. And I'll try to talk in between these things just so I um, can give it lively, but it's, it's just a lot of reading, so you got to pay attention. A little backstory about a once 36-year-old streamer, Jay Cyrus. He is known to stream himself playing various games. A lot of women migrated to these live streams to watch him stream. And while they were doing this, he manipulated them and abused them. So one of the other concepts here is that Doja Cat is now dating somebody who the fans seem to think is not good. Everybody has obviously been seeing Doja Cat change. I talked about it not too long ago in my Sam Smith video. In my Sam Smith video, I talked about um, how Doja Cat was starting to change quite a bit. She's been doing this for a couple years, and I used to follow Doja Cat. Uh, I thought she was a great artist, but man, she was posting some weird stuff, so I stopped following her. And yeah, man, but as far as I know, she's always been pretty strange. So you guys can't see this, but I'll try my best to uh, read it out to you so you can see this. Uh -uh. But what? But how? What did he do? How did he manipulate? How did he manipulate and take advantage? Anna. In my own personal experiences, in my own personal experience as one of his actions, wait, wait, what he do? I can't really click into this picture because I'm looking at it from this angle. While being an active partner on Switch, hold on guys, he, he used his power, oh yeah, here, here we go, sorry. He used his power and influence to mistreat women who watched his stream. The last count of women who came forward was close to 20. He destroyed a community of hundreds of people who trusted and admired him. And he has proven that he should not be trusted. Okay. Let me get back out. This, this, this is a whole big old thread, guys. A whole big old thread. What? Why are they not going down more? Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right. So here's the next part right here. <clears throat> I'm not going to read all of this, but I did read all this before we got on here. He issued an apology in December of 2020 for what he was accused of. Okay, so pretty much in this whole apology, I'll keep it paused here if you want to read it, or you can just uh, go follow this, indiver this individual. Her, their account is actually private, so you might not be able to go. Um, from what I, I, I was able to go, so you might be able to just go there and follow. Um, if not, you can pause here and read it. But pretty much what this man goes on to say is that he's sorry that he did all the things and he's sorry that he manipulated so many people um, when he was doing all this. He kind of got caught up in the wave of being a streamer and all these things. And he is very sorry for what he had did to the people who had worked for him. OK, and this is big proof right here that he did do what he had been alleged to do. Now, you see, this is from December 2020, so it has been a few years. <clears throat> Now on to how Doja Cat and Jay Cyrus came to be. <clears throat> Doja Cat, uh, Doja and Jay Cyrus first sparked dating rumors after streaming together on Twitch in mid-February. Multiple fans started to call her out and she scrubbed her the Twitch link from her Twitter. Why is she streaming with that man? And I'm going to show you one of the streams because it is quite, it is crazy. It is actually quite crazy. I'm going to show that right now. This is the stream that kind of got people up in arms here. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I sound great? Be advised, by the way, this is a very, very, very strange video. Am I too loud? <laughs> no, you sound great. Oh, uh, yeah? Do I sound great? Yeah, I you sound, sound real good. good. Yeah, I this sound real Cyrus, good, don't way. I? You sound damn good. I can't even <laughs> believe how you sound right now. I like that. Oh, yeah, I want to play. I want the dinosaur. Or at least do the dinosaur with me or something. Or you can hunt me on it. Oh, God. Yeah, get that fucking rim. Fucking clean, clean that, clean that good, clean that fucking rim. 
I probably just came here to spray you, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they fucking sprayed me. <laughs> You sprayed my ass. What's up with that? I didn't do bad at all by myself. Mm. <laughs> Fucking part that I'm on, I'm like on top of the, I'm like inside of the playground, and something about the setup of it is just so satisfying. Fucking. Very oh God, this shit feels so fucking good to me, dude. I'm the motherfucking one that's horny, bitch. Fucking game turns me on, dude. Oh, God, I'm clenching, dude. I can't. I, oh, I love it. I love you guys. I really do. Jay, I'll see you there. Uh, yeah, I am going to fucking see you there. Am I really? Are you really going to be there soon? Oh my god, okay, that's cool. See ya. <sighs> One thing I want you guys to surely acknowledge, when it comes to these celebrities, don't think because they got money and they make good music that it's just all honky-dory, okay? And she just, like I said, Doja Cat has always been quite odd, but people think that the because she's a great, makes great music that they're, that she loves all her fans and she's so into it. She's so into this music thing. Doja Cat has said, and she said it last year, that she's not really into this whole music thing. She likes making music. She loves doing it. But as far as everything that comes with it, she does not care for it. And now people are getting upset with her because she is plainly making that obvious that she doesn't care. Okay, let's continue on with a little bit of that Jay story as we continue on. And then we'll go into some of the stuff that the fans are really upset about. Doja is uh, sporting a shirt that reads Daddy's Little Meatball that he purchased from a street cart in New York City. She posted the picture on the right to her Instagram and then quickly deleted it. So Daddy Little Meatball. Doja Cat confirming that she is dating Jay Cyrus in a now deleted tweet and Instagram replies. She's also been blocking fans, including myself, who called her out for dating this. He's defending you, girl. Laugh my ass off. This is from, coming from Doja Cat down here. Laugh my ass off. Defending this bitch is, comes from my boyfriend's stream talking about how I fucked a bunch of dudes in my bed and trying to troll and bully like a fucking loser. With, with no life, it's giving stalker creep. Leave that white man. And then Doja Cat put, he's fucking me as I type this. I told you this one was going to be a vulgar one, but you know, Doja Cat does not hold back when it comes to this stuff. <clears throat> Once these pictures hit the internet, more women came forward to comment on just past Twitch, past Twitch action. One woman even stated that she's been seeing him for years up until she found out he was dating Doja Cat. And so pretty much in this thing down here, I can't click it on here, but if you see down here, it reads that pretty much they were uh, talking to each other. It showed them on stream playing stuff together. And then it talks about, oh, I, I was with him until she started dating Doja Cat. No need to get too crazy. But here's the picture of the girl down here and the picture of him and her and Jay. Now that it's public news, I can finally say something. Yes, Doja Cat got my soppy seconds. Laugh my ass off. Very weird for me. But let's not pretend he wasn't trying to get at me again last week. Let's not pretend I wasn't just getting dick pics taken from her uh, NY home. So he was at her house taking pictures of his penis and sending it to his ex or whatever they were. Oh my God, post for me. I'm too scared. People be hating on that TikTok. He told me to go to sex clubs together and girls eat her out and get BJ's. I was like, ew, okay. So pretty much he was saying that him and Doja Cat have an open relationship and they just do some weird freaky things together. Y'all, y'all, and y'all know who that sounds like. That other couple. She recently replied to a fan and said that she doesn't care about the victims and doesn't care about what her man has done. She also tweeted nothing new to me when she was getting called out for blocking a victim of her boyfriend. The tweet has now been deleted. Uh, here's the victim here. Girl, everyone is uh, understanding you. Even if you paint yourself gold, it won't make things better. Doja Cat then goes to respond. I want y'all to read this comment and take it as a message. I don't give a fuck what you think about my personal life. I never have, never will give a fuck what you think about me or my personal life. Goodbye and good riddance, miserable hoes. This is where she puts nothing new to me. And that's the tweet that is gone now. 
And it just keeps going. Doja Cat, leave that man. It's not good for you and apologize for your actions. Don't. For, here's one thing I want to say. You people who think that you could talk to Doja Cat like that, tell her don't do this. You better stop. You guys, uh, listen, I understand that you guys are fans. I understand y'all really support her. But at the end of the day, Doja Cat is a human being. Okay? She don't care about all this stuff. Just because y'all pay for her tickets and pay for her albums and all that stuff. Honestly, and I'm not really defending Doja, but I want to say that at the end of the day, like, she can do what she wants to do. It may not be right. But for y'all to think that y'all have authority over her because y'all are her fans, <laughs> That is the problem with these parasocial relationships. Just because you're a Swifty and all this stuff, they don't care. Unless it's costing them money, they probably don't care about what y'all have to say. And Doja Cat especially, because Doja Cat has made it very clear by the way she acts and the way she does things, she does not care about money that much. She would say she would totally quit music if she could. Doja Cat just wants to live her life. She's been famous since she was a child. I think she got famous at 16. She had been making music since she was young, but she got she started to get popularized at 16. She's a young woman and she don't care. You can see how she's going through stuff, cutting her hair off, wearing all these piercings, just doing all this stuff, dressing in all red, uh, whatever she dressed in those red bedazzles or red crystals, whatever. She's just different, you know? And so she don't care about the money. She really is just out here doing whatever. So I understand you fans want to get all into her and be like, oh, you got to stop. Do it for us. She do not care about y'all like that. If all the money disappears and she her name just disappears off the internet, I'm honestly I'm, I'm I think she would be happy with that. I don't think she wants to be famous. All right, back to the stuff. Exposing Doja Cat's boyfriend, Jay Cyrus, as a dirty as a dirty leader, a liar, and dirty and a cheater. She also blocked another Twitter user. Uh, gotta hand it to Doja Cat fans. They're actually holding their favorite account. They're fave accountable, like they're really mad. Fans of artists would be um, shakiting so her so bad. I don't even know what that says. All right, it is it is blowing my mentions. It is blowing up my mentions. That's the girl who did all this, or I don't know who the individual is actually. It shouldn't have. I shouldn't have included Rim, but it can't be changed. And that's the end of all that part. So I wanted to show you guys just one more, couple more things actually. About what's got her people all up in arms. I read all that to get y'all to where we are today. Okay. My fans don't name themselves shit. If you call yourself a kitten or fucking kittens, that means you need to get off your phone and go get a job. Or sorry, and get a job and help your parents uh, with the house. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Sorry, sometimes I'm so used to reading stuff like that, guys. I don't mean to say that stuff out loud. Only using the name you gave your fans when I was an alcoholic teen. What should I change my name to since you don't know like the term kitten? Just delete the entire account and rethink everything. It's never too late. Once again, I'm not defending Doja, but there is some truth to what she's saying. Listen. Listen. Uh, like I said, how can you be an alcoholic teen at 25 years old? I hate you so much, Doja. This is the problem when it does come to stands. You know, Eminem made that really famous. Listen, what should I change my name to since you don't like the term? Nothing. I, I have to agree with Doja there. Like, what do you mean? Go do something with your life. Don't worry about what you want to call me as your fan. Like, at the end of the day, go do something. Go live your life. Don't worry about being a fan of mine and calling yourself a kitten. Don't live to be my fan. Go do something. Go out there, delete your account. Think about something else. Your life should not be revolved around being called a kitten or being called anything of mine. It's just weird. Doja Cat will call it out, unlike some other artists who don't call it out. They'll just be like, oh, yes, I love you guys. It's like, uh, come on now. Let some human beings do this. It doesn't feel like Doja Cat wants to be worship like you know or wants to be this big old name like i said before moving on thanks cameraman put the camera back on me i appreciate that here is the uh last nail that we saw here uh, uh, uh. my life my rules my style my attitude i want to hear you say i do love you guys as usual you say to your fans I don't, though. 
because I don't even know y'all. And we don't know. See, this is going to be very weird. And we don't know you, but we have supported you through thick and thin. Mind, you be nothing without us. Foolish art. Foolish statement. You be working at the grocery store making songs on a fucking garbage band. Miss high school dropout. Nobody forced you. And I don't know why you're talking to me like you're my mother, bitch. You sound like a crazy person and you do sound like a crazy person. You, <laughs> that person absolutely sounds like a crazy person. Listen, once again, young people, fans of people, I understand. I mean, there is something that there is some loyalty you feel like that an artist should have to you. But to say to go as far as say, if it wasn't for us, you'd be nothing. You chose to be my, her fan. You know, you, I didn't, it's not like Doja said, be my fan or else y'all chose to be her fan. So don't then turn around and play victim just because y'all spent y'all's good on money, money, money on all her stuff. Y'all decided to make her as big as she is. Y'all decided to call y'all selves kittens. Y'all decided to do all these things. Doja was not begging for this. Okay. She made music. They pushed her out. People liked it. And here she is. And so you can't get mad at her. if She doesn't say, I love you guys or do any of that. You know, there are some people who do that. And I, I'm perfectly fine with that. Like all the subs I got and people who do watch me and actually like my content. Of course, I'm like, thank you for supporting. Thank you for all this. Thank you for that. And at the end of most of my videos, you guys normally hear me say, I love you guys, especially at the end of my live streams. So I get that. And I, I mean it when I say that. But at the end of the day, don't 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 push too much into this. You guys don't know me personally, and I don't know you guys personally. So don't push it so far to say that if you guys didn't do anything, that I'd be nothing, you know, or y'all would. Be. I wouldn't say that to y'all. I wouldn't say if, uh, you know, if I didn't make videos, whoever y'all be nowhere. Right? It just it just sounds weird. Right. So never get caught up in the parasocial thing, man. I've been watching YouTubers since I was young. Right. There's a lot of YouTubers I've supported, a lot of YouTubers I've sent money. But at no point did I ever feel like I was the reason they made it. Because I'm not. It takes hard work to be um, very successful. Now, getting off of that, back to Doja Cat and dating this man. My full opinion on it is Doja Cat's weird, man. At the end of the day, I think even though I think Doja Cat knows all this information, she just don't care, man. I, do I think she's an evil person, all this stuff? I wouldn't say that, but I do think she's on her a, a different level. We see a lot of artists go through this. We've seen the Miley Cyruses, seen the Chris Browns. We've seen the um, Doja Cats now. We've seen all these artists and young people go through different changes. Um, just just to go off a little bit, just for you guys who have been watching, y'all saw that video I made on the guy who had a vagina, right? Um, when he got all that extra fame from Twitter, I've been watching his video since, and he is spiraling out of control, out of control. And he got just a few He's only got a few. He got 2,000 extra followers, I think, from that Twitter post. He went from this guy to privating his account, and all he does is make videos about how people hate him and how he is better than them and um, how he's going to get past this. He started making fun of Jesus. It was, it, was, it was wild. Not making fun of, but he just went on this whole tangent about how he believes in Thor and the All Fathers and how God doesn't help him. I mean, it is a complete spiral. We see what's happening to Sam Smith. I'm just saying, guys, take into account when somebody becomes famous, even people who get a little notoriety, you see it. You see people who get a little bit of get a, a couple fans or a couple supporters and they, their minds, their mindset switches. They think the whole world is watching them. And then some people, the whole world is watching them. And you see what happens to them. They go and do their own thing. Sam, Nas, little Nas X. Well, now we see what's happening to Doja. Guys. Some, most of these people do make it back around and they realize what they're doing is wrong and they'll come back around. But for you guys who are hating Doja Cat and never want to be a fan of Doja Cat again and think that um, you doing this little boycott against her is going to change her actions, I don't think it will. I think you're just going to have to let her come to her own thing on her own, man. She's 25. She's young. She's trying to figure herself out. And when you got some money and you can pretty much do what you want, this is how it goes, man. And when the whole world's watching you, you tend to go a little further. Let me know what y'all think about Doja Cat. Let me know if y'all think she's going crazy. If y'all ever going to be a fan of her again. And if you will be a fan of her again, what would it take? Goodbye.